Hi, I'm Dennis Dawson. Let's write some checks. Checks offer a two-step payment process where first you offer a certain amount of currency and then the recipient decides to receive all or part of it. They don't have to set up a trust line in advance. Another nice feature of checks is that the recipient doesn't have to accept the full amount. You could use it for a petty cash fund, for example, where you set aside a certain amount of money and then the recipient validates their expenditures with receipts. All right, here's my check sending form. I already have my two accounts. I'm going to send a check for XRP. I'll set the amount to 100 million drops. The destination is the operational account. I'll copy and paste that here. I don't have to worry about the issuer when I'm dealing with XRP, but I have to be certain that I set the currency to XRP. Now I can send that check. There we have it. That looks like it succeeded. On the operational side, I can get checks. And there it is. Now, to cash the check, the important thing I need is this index value. That's the check ID. So I'll copy that, and I'll paste that into the check ID field. The amount, again, I'll match that, 100, 000, 000, 000. And the currency is XRP. Cash that check. There. And my balance went up almost a full hundred, minus the transaction fee. And here, the balance has gone down a little bit more than a hundred, again, because of the transaction fee. Now let's send a check for issued currency. In this case, I'm going to send just 78. Not too much. I'm feeling cheap today. For the standby account, going to set that as the issuer. And let's send yen just for fun. Send that check. There we are. Looks like it succeeded. I'll come over here, get my checks. Copy the index and paste that into the check ID field. The issuer was the standby account. I'll paste that in here. Again, the currency is yen. Now I have a choice here. I can accept the full amount, or perhaps I quoted a price of 78 yen, but it ended up costing only 70. So I can accept just 70 yen when I cash the check. Let's cash that. When I get the account balances, I can see that for the standby account, it has an obligation to the operational account for 70 yen. If I slide down, I see that the operational account balance includes an asset that is sent by the standby account for 70 yen.